but let's see. Maybe we'll get a mix up. What's going on, bro? Me and you are gonna fight after this. Yes, sir. What's up, y'all? It's Jazzle on the mic. Uh, I'll right now being the color commentator. We got Lure versus Classic. Yes, sir. And now we are off. We got. Oh, damn. PT versus Fox. My honest opinion is, like, you know, Fox is a really good finish at the very moment, but at the same time, they just have to match up where it's have to adapt to it. But, like, but he has some fast frame data like, to, to contest with the other two characters, but Squirtle might be the one he has to look out for, like, you know, the most, because he's able to outmaneuver. Well, kind of. They can go toe and toe, I, I, I would say, in terms of speed, combo ability, but yeah, I think Fox probably has, a, like everyone else, has a tough time hitting Squirtle. That is so true. Squirtle's so underrated, in my honest opinion. Yeah, if he weren't so light, I mean, I feel like he can't be that much lighter than Fox, but he's so good. He's potentially almost so reliable, in my opinion. I wouldn't say that necessarily. Because he still has uh, moves that kill that sometimes don't. Okay, okay. Well, that's good. Oh, that's a good up smash. Yeah, nice up smash. Yeah, Squirtle has moves that don't always kill. I don't feel bad about that one bit. I'm okay with that. Ah. Alright, is he gonna get the edge guard here? Oh, nice job getting right back to the stage. You know, we're on Battlefield. Like, one good, uh, one good up throw should be able to, uh, to kill him. A top one. Yeah, scary place for both of these guys right now. Or off the stage, tries to go for the nair up and doesn't hit though. Both missing each other a lot, yep. but reading that air dodge gonna be up smash. So Classic is so good at using those down airs, he throws them out all the time. People expect you to nair, they try to maybe parry, and then the multi hit hits you and then he knows how to read those those reads, uh, those tech reads. You're gonna go back to station for one thing that about Classic you really need to have that sort of intellectual tech read. Like, like, your opponent every step of the way, but Fox is too light to lift that, that point. Gone, dude. The stock deleted. And just like that, the turtle's back. We're trying to get a, a, a little combo in. Um, I don't know how, how good Squirtle's combos work against someone like Fox that does have a book, you know. He is a fast baller. Yeah, and, and I would say Classic seems to know his matchups pretty well. For every time I talk to him, he knows a lot about the matchups, so I, I imagine he knows the best ways to just really fight this character. He, he, he's a smart guy. That being said, he's right now at a disadvantage. At 80%, he's like one setup away from pretty much dying. But yeah. so is Classic though. Yeah, I feel like Fox has to be very careful with the, with the Ivysaur because of that. Just one good read and you'll die. Charizard. Nice back air. Back on the stage. Tries to do neutral B but fails. Like, I was gonna there. say, good. Wow. What a recovery. Wow, that was. I don't think that. I think Hulk Classic didn't commit enough to that tech, uh, to that air dodge read. Yeah, I feel like most characters would have died right there, but luckily Charizard has the extra jump, able to get back. Oh, there it is. Oh, not another good. down air. Gets back on the stage, gets the throw, and gets him off the stage, loses the stage control, 53%, hits fight off, which will be better off the cover right now. Oh my god, that was filthy. I didn't even realize that was last stock for Classic, because I feel like one of those stocks went so fast. I imagine the one with Ivy Sword. Could have been more stylish, could have got the spike, but uh, well, you know what? If you're if you're lower, then, then you'll take it. Oh yeah, you take those every time. We got some Tekken music, let's go. Yeah. I, it's a robot battle. I feel like PT's one of those characters that has so many ways to kill you, and I feel like Fox has to really earn those kills so hard. Whoa, whoa, did I see Falco? I agree with this kind of pick. I agree with this. Yeah, here's a character that can much more easily kill you. I feel like well, his setups are just a little bit more easy to get to. Fox has to work so hard. He does, but... But I think the Falco, not only is he able to, like, you know, recover, uh, like, well, not recover, he, not only is he able to get more consistent combos uh, going, the Dragon Ball Fighters combos, <laughs> but also the fact that he could uh, definitely take advantage. Like, I would have personally looked at the battlefield, 
again. I don't know if they banned Battlefield, but that small Battlefield is actually really good stage music with, uh, with Pablo as well, so... Again, I agree with you. Yeah, I'm sure he did ban Battlefield, because I don't think anyone's trying to bring Falco to Battlefield. I'm not. Ooh, this is the flank. He's using that a lot more than... Honestly, this is, uh, he should have been using that a little bit more for the first game, down B. Against Ivysaur. Yeah, I, I, I guess you gotta, you know, you just gotta give it a shot, but... But I agree, I think this is a really good counter pick. Ooh! Wow, nice good change-up. Oh, that was such a good upbeat. Looking for the forward air to swap up stage once again. Does the neutral beat, tries to edge guard. Oh and my god! Fire with my fire! He flew through all of that flame! When you fight fire with fire, you get back on that stage. And that's gotta be matchup experience. Like, he had to know that was gonna make it through. Cause I would've had no clue. That was a very, 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 uh, you know, misplaced up. I was gonna say, that must have been a misinput or something, because that was, like, I, I can't imagine he wanted to float in the air like that. Yeah. Here we go, here comes the combo. Good job, Tech, rolling away. Try to go for the Marine as well. Cortex, nice 11. shield. Cortex, Game is still pretty much even. Um, I couldn't tell you who would win this from, from this from this position. Uh, right yeah. now, both at 64 and 67 for 69 now. Nice. Uh, Station 12, let me get... Ivysaur is back. Station 12, Oh, he's down low. Okay, he makes it back. Nice, nice hope for that upbeat. Very smart to get him off of you. Oh, no! The drop down off the platform into up air, taking out the second stock. Yeah, real tight button position. Like, the, you have to put that input so quickly, getting off the ledge, off that platform, and immediately punishes them. That's, that's some, somebody who's been labbing that, that's for sure. Ooh. Okay. I, if, I, if I were Laura, I would switch off the squirtle. Now, I probably would. Hey, yeah, there you go. Good call. So brave. Valco going for that spike, but I just worry about a shark. Surprisingly, they didn't go for that up air, which would have hit in that scenario. I think it's hit by the back air. And then, that was so smart. I can't even believe that one thing. That hit. There we go. Gets the, oh! That would have been a disgusting read. Luckily, Classic stayed composed and able to get out of that situation. Good parry into up tilt. It's the combo started, but damn, PT just gets out of it. This grab again. Bring him in. This is pretty much even. Yeah, this might have been a good switch. Oh, obviously a good switch, but even though he didn't get the combo, he at least got Squirtle, which you can feel like, hey, I can kill this character pretty pretty low percentage. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see much of Squirtle uh, in the next couple of seconds. Oh, the parry! Yeah, he's going to have to switch here soon. No, often to stay. Oh, oh my mind. I don't know anything. What, 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 what he was trying to go for was a jab lock setup, but then again, he was at high percentages, so we adapt to the tech uh, and got the F smash. Good stuff. Lore gets the win. Both these guys played hella good game. All right, let's do this.